Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Conquests of the Longbow. Alright, um, the way to get the extra points here, and I believe that's all it is, is extra points, is um, to leave the front of St. Mary's and go into the front of the pub. And this should uh, give it this, well, should. I say should, and I've already done it. I've already verified it. Uh, this will uh, let us talk to the uh, um, barman again. I don't suppose you've come back to pay the abbot's bill. If God wills it, it will be done. I guessed as much. How much is the bill? Twelve pennies I'll, I'll likely never see. Well, about that. Alright, um, you can just flat out give him the twelve pennies, uh, but I prefer to give him uh, a few half pennies first. So that's three, and make that nine. So we'll still have some pennies around. What's all this? It's to pay the abbot's bill in full, my friend. I'm much obliged to you, brother. I think we actually got twelve pennies from the abbot, so you're just coming out flat you know, neither ahead nor behind. You're the only worthwhile monk I've ever met from that abbey. No offense. None taken. And, um, I was slightly wrong. Uh, we do give him the, uh, uh, cask, but we don't get anything for it other than points. I've brought back another empty cask. You are a good fellow. Do you want a filled one to replace it? Nay, not this time. You're worth your weight in salt, brother. Signal me from the cellar door any time you want to go home by the short way. Alright, so um, I believe this will allow us to use the passageway later in the game. Um, but now I've already done everything, and let's go ahead and restore back here. Now we have 2,900 points rather than uh, what we had before. We have the Dark Monk's robes and the regular Monk's robes there. In our inventory, we've got um, uh, folks scribbled bits of doggerel. We've got uh, the scroll we took, we took from the scribe's room. The widow's gift is a net made of gold. So let's uh, let's go ahead and read this again. I already have it. Okay. I'll open folks scroll scroll. I'll open the hand scroll. Eh? I already have it. Oh. Jeez, I have to open it every time? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me pull out. I'm not sure if this is, uh, if this changes from game to game, but, uh, The trees argued amongst themselves. Beth bragged. So that's B. Octax said, much is made of me, that's B-O, N for Neon, I for Idho, uh, T for Tin, A for Ilum, and S for Sile. I believe I uh, read that before. Every tree is first among trees, and first they are in order spoken. Okay. This wooden box is cleverly made. It is locked, but with no lock that I can see. Alright, so. Let's try... B... O... N... I... T... A... S... The box clicks open, and inside... A magnificent ring with a fiery ruby set in flames of gold. I'll slip the ring into my pouch. Good, now I can dispense with the, with carrying around this clumsy bo clar carrying this clumsy box around. I'll hide it for now and give it to Alan after supper tonight. He'll enjoy studying it. Hey, I've got 3,000 points now. Okay, so I now have the uh, Lapis Lazuli is set in a ring of silver. And the ring that commands fire has a blazing ruby set in gold. 
I feel the power of the ring that commands fire upon my hand. Some power keeps me from donning both rings at once. As folk warn me, their natures are in conflict and refuse to be worn at the same time by one man. Ah, you can put one ring on each hand. Have you not read the uh, Dungeon Master's Guide? <sighs> Alright, let's take this one off. Okay. But uh, now let's go ahead and make our way out. And no one is around. All right. Well, that's fine. We got our uh, we got our ring, so that's the important thing. Uh, what else? All right. Let's uh, let's actually try and give this uh, scroll back to Marion. It is hers, after all. Hello, Marion. How's it going? "'Tis good to see you safe, Robin." I liked him better with the robe. That portrait was much better. "'How do you know when I seek you here? It's most uncanny. The willows gather messages for me from all parts of the forest. I know you've been to the monastery." "'Do the willows tell you of folk?' "'The king's fool? What of him? I rescued him from torture at the hands of the monks.' "'Oh, Robin, I'm very fond of folk. Was he badly hurt?' I found him before they, the Strapado had worked much damage. He's gone to the Queen. I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you for saving him. To see your smile, I would brave a hundred torture chambers. Don't say that. Let us speak only of good news and future plans. Okay. Well, then, how about, uh... There you go. You are so clever. Now I have a gift of great importance to bestow upon you. A kiss? Robin, cease being a rogue for but a moment and watch closely. Your life and all our plans will depend upon knowing what I will show you now. Alright, so this is in the manual. Um, you could certainly do a uh, uh, screenshot here. Let me just double check to make sure it is right. Yeah. Yep. 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 Alright. Good. Long ago, the druids devised this hand code. By touching the tip or a part of each finger, the thumb or the palm, you signify a certain letter. In this way, you can spell out words upon your hand. The letters are branded in my mind. I close my eyes and see them still. Aye, the spell upon the scroll has that power. That is why I had to have it. But let us be sure. Spell out Robin with the hand code. Oh. It's doing it automatically. Keep the scroll safe. So I may study the code again? Nay, only a priestess such as myself can make the letters appear. But you must give it to the Queen's spy. The Queen has a lady who will teach the hand code to her most trusted knight. It will be that Queen's knight who will receive whatever ransom you have when the time comes. And this Queen's spy? Soon the Saturday fair begins in Nottingham. The Queen's spy will come disguised as a scholar. Amidst the numerous merchants and vendors from all parts of England, he can mingle more safely. He'll carry a book containing royal coats of arms. Mayhaps you will mingle freely enough, but you've said not of how I shall perform this miracle. I would do it myself, but I'll be too closely watched. If you doubt you can carry out such a difficult task... Little vixen, you prick my pride, knowing full well I'll die of shame before I fail you. And how prettily you blush, knowing you've caught I've caught you out. I keep forgetting you're not like other men, but truly, if it is too dangerous, I won't ask of you ask it of you. The prince will also have spies there. Do you think you could keep me away from Nottingham's largest fair? The archery tournaments alone would draw me in. As the sheriff will expect. I can fool the sheriff. Robin, if you do meet me in the town, you, we must act as strangers. I'll take care not to endanger you. Now, how am I to find this queen's spy? There could be more than one scholar. Aye, 
and he'll be testing you as well. When you speak with him, you must ask him to show you the coat of arms of the Cornish kings. He'll open his book and show you coats of arms. You must be sure he shows you the right one. When you see the correct coat of arms, give him the hand scroll at once. And after the fair, shall I meet you here again? Or will you come to my camp and meet my men? Why, I'd like that. I'll come on the night after the fair. I'll watch for you. There's something I wish you'd do even before then. What, another task? This is for your own protection. Now that you know the hand code, you must seek out the green man who dwells in the ancient oak. I know the grove and the oak well. You seem most anxious about this. The sheriff has been raising a force of men and threatens to scour the forest clean of outlaws. If you can gain the green man's protection, it could save your life. I'll heed your words and do as you ask. Can I show you this again? Blessed lady, how did you come by this? I dreamt of you. I thought I showed this before. You danced in a circle within this very grove. You saw the spiral dance? When you reached the center, you vanished and left this behind. I awoke and found it clutched in my hand. You're trembling. I don't mean to frighten you. It was you. I also dreamt, but I couldn't see you. I danced and felt you watching, but I wasn't afraid. I felt they were the eyes of my true love. Ever since I saw you, I hoped... You see, I also found a token when I awoke. And mine is half a heart, like yours, but made of diamond. Look! It's only a model. Oh, wait. Wrong game. Not sure if I should have done this yet. Did you create this? It can only be a gift from the Blessed Lady, the Virgin Queen of Heaven whom I serve. I'm a priestess of the ancient powers. I dance the spiral dance for the health and regeneration of the forest. Did you feel the renewing force of the emerald and diamond joined? Together they could heal any hurt. I felt it as surely as I feel my love for you. Will you pledge yourself to me, Marion? By these tokens of love I plight my troth to you. But the fulfillment of our love must wait. Before an outlaw and forced priestess can be free to marry, King Richard must return. I don't know, I feel like you might have an issue with that. I fear you're right. I can offer you neither home nor safety unless I win the king's pardon. Your love is all I ask. Guard the emerald, emerald, keep it safe. Tis half my own heart you have in your hands. Uh, which side, left or right? I, I'm wondering where the ventricle and... Are, uh, hey, never mind. I must go now. Be most careful when you come to the fair. Beware of Prince John's spies. Hi. It's nice talking to you. Yep, yeah, time to go uh, find some deer and, and shoot them and eat them and, and roast them and maybe cut down a few trees, that kind of thing. All right. I think we need to, like, wander around and look for something in the woods. Uh, let's take a quick save first. But I might need to go to the, uh, um... <clears throat> the ancient oak here. Let me see. Uh, doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like we come here yet. Oh, I think I wanted to go south from here. Um, up. Oh. This forest looks magical to me on this wondrous day. What? What the hell was that? Alright, let's see if we, uh, do that again, if, uh, it will reappear. Well, I saved it in case, uh, I screwed up, but... Hmm. 
No? Ah! I hear it! At last, Pixie, grant my wish! I wish... No wish, Pixie no wish! What do you mean? You can't grant wishes? Pixie no power, green man big power, green man sleep oak, dream magic all forest. Say go, Pixie take green man, green man all wishes, say go. Very well, go. All good, follow. But, but my net, you, you disintegrated my net. I assume I could have looked at him, but, eh, whatever. That would have required clicking on a moving object. And that seems like more trouble than it's worth. Any time now, game. Any time now. Um. Are you, are you broken? Did you break on me? Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's restore. See if uh. Let's see if that uh, fixes it. It didn't appear that time. Aha! Dang it! I missed. Curses. All right, come on, you stupid pixie. I will catch you. There you are. Ah! So, of course, I did it on my first try, and then I can't do it again. Let's just wait. Maybe he'll come back. Come on. Where? There we go. Okay, is it going to work this time? Yes! Excellent! You don't look much like a pixie. Where are your wings? Old man oak, father tree, green man, green man, come and see! Man, if only Gawain were around. I heard my wood child call. So, fleshling, you seek me. I am here. Do you rule the forest, Green Man? I am its heart and soul. My will moves from root to root. Don't you dare break out into uh, any tapau, cause uh, you know that 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 sound annoys me. My thoughts so so in the leaves. The pixie said, "You grant all wishes. They are acorn imps, foolish and rootless. Wishes are the dream stuff of fleshlings." 
Mine is the power to grant you the protection of the druid trees. But my protection is not easily earned. My riddles are perilous. Those who fail my test join the forest and are never more clothed in flesh. Dwell upon that before you speak again. Okay, sounds like we want to save again. And actually, you know what? Maybe we'll uh, do the riddles in the next episode. See you then, everyone.